in the weather community, the last day of January is always filled with some level of anticipation with Groundhog Day just around the corner. Today we're delighted to be joined by Ron Plaucha, a member of the Groundhog Club's inner circle and one of Punxsutawney Phil's handlers. Welcome to Weather World. Ron. Well, thanks, John. It's a pleasure to be here with Very you nice. guys today. So we're just two days from Groundhog Day. What's Phil up to? I mean, is there is there a rehearsal? Is he resting? Well, yes, he's resting, but Phil needs no rehearsal. Remember, he's done this for 130 years, so he knows what to do. Um, he just kind of, we have to rehearse, but he doesn't. Gotcha. So you guys rehearse? We do a little bit, but not too much. How much does Phil sleep? Phil actually sleeps quite a bit. He's like any other uh, animal, like dogs sleep all day long. Phil does too. He, he'll wake up and go to the bathroom, get something to eat, and back to sleep. So it's a pretty nice life that he has. What's the biggest challenge handling Phil? I mean, does, it, does he bite a lot? Has he ever gotten loose? Uh, well, y yes to both of those questions. <laughs> he bites a lot. Um, he's a wild animal, so we have to be very careful. We wear gloves that are made out of Kevlar, the same thing that bulletproof vests are made out of. Uh, but the bites still hurt. Um, yes, he's gotten loose also. One, one particular time he was uh, able to get up into the ceiling of the library where he lives and John, the other handler, and I ended up taking down every single ceiling tile except one uh, to get him back. I thought you were going to say you had to take down every single book. Uh, well, no. Him. He got into the library one time, but he ended up in the bathroom that time. So, so what does Phil eat? Does he have a favorite treat? He eats a lot. We, we give him a balanced diet with uh, greens. He's got uh, romaine, lettuce, and kale. He likes, his favorite treat, I guess, would be uh, honey and oat granola bars, which are good for him, well, somewhat good for him, but they're good for his teeth because the teeth which sink into our hands periodically never stop growing, so we, we, he needs to keep them filed down. Every once in a while you sneak one of those granola bars for yourself, Oh, he gets, right? well, for yourself. as you can be see, honest. I really don't need any, any sweets, so. Tell us a bit about Phil's secret language. Well, th that's one thing that is kind of a mystery to me also because I'm not the president. Our president, Bill Dealey, is everybody. the only oh, person in the entire okay. world that speaks groundhog -ese. Right. So it's a very difficult language. It's, um, it's uh, uh, a series of uh, ESP and little ticks, okay. and they stare at each other, and I don't, know how, I don't understand it, but uh, Bill does. What's Phil doing the other 364 days besides Groundhog Day? What are you doing? Well, I'm retired, but um, Phil keeps me busy almost every day. Be between the times that John and I have to feed and care for them, we do a lot of appearances throughout the year. We do uh, a lot of school visits. We do some corporate events. We do parades. We go to nursing homes. Uh, so, you know, we, we are pretty active, and, and uh, Phil gets to travel a lot. But no matter where we go, he is, a, you know, he's a superstar. He's a so star. he gets a lot of attention from yeah. everyone. What's going on at... Uh Gobbler's Knob the other 364 days of the year? Um, Gobbler's Knob is open to the public and um, it's amazing every day of the year. Uh, if you were at Gobbler's Knob, you're going to run into somebody probably from another part of our world beside the United States because Phil's fame has spread to all four corners of this planet and it's amazing um, how many people stop and, and see where this all happens. I made my first trip to Gobbler's Knob for, uh, last year for Groundhog Day. Do you have any tips for first time Groundhog Day goers this year? Well, you know, we can't predict the weather. We can't. Phil does That's that our, afterward. That's well, right. But um, ahead of time, we don't know what's going to happen. I've, I've been in the club a long time. We've had uh, very cold temperatures in the, in the minus range. We've had rain. We've had freezing rain. We've had strong winds. So you better come prepared. Yeah because there's no place to get out of the elements when you get the Gobbler's Knob. Um, we don't recommend people bringing very, very young kids. It's kind of brutal. So um, things like that, just use common sense when you come to Gobbler's Knob. Now this might be a sensitive subject, but is there any tension between Phil and Pennsylvania's second most famous groundhog, Gus? <sighs> Well, I don't know if there's tension, but I can pretty much guarantee you that if I put Gus with Phil, right. that yes, all the fiber Phil yes, inside yes, Gus would be removed because yes, Phil would take care of him in short order. How do you become a member of the Inner Circle? <laughs> well, we have 15 members, and when a member either moves away or passes away, that's the only way you get out of the club. You're in it for life. Um, we go through a process looking for 
um, what particular position needs filled, what do we need in the club. We look at the members of our community that are available and, uh, and then we have a vote. And uh, you have to get a two-thirds majority of the vote to, to become a member. So okay. it's, um, it's kind of like the Supreme Court of, <laughs> of um, Groundhogs, I guess. We only have a few seconds left. Are you allowed to tell us who the newest inductee into the Punxsutawney Weather Discovery Center Hall of Fame is? I am. It's um, a young lady that you will see on Fox News, and I believe her name is Janice Dean. Janice she Dean. has okay. been selected this year to be the next recipient of the um, uh, Hall of Fame All in right. Punxsutawney. Ron Plowchick, fabulous to have you here Thank today, you. Ron. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. It was our pleasure. And we'll be back in a moment with a recap of the forecast.